Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be going over my plant collecting routine because this was massively requested after my guide video from last week. Some of you guys felt like the guide video wasn't enough and you wanted a full video on every single location on your vic, so this is that. So in case you're interested in any of those topics, make sure you keep on watching. And then now, without any further ado, let's just jump straight into it. In the previous two videos on the topic, I forgot to mention that it takes a while before the plants actually appear. So the first thing I do when I log on is I check the board over here for quests for that day. The reason why I'm only at level 5 is because I did skip two days, but I am at level 5 already, which means I'm almost halfway through and... I can't wait to see what the last reward will be. Anyway, today we need candles, a paint set, and also natural soap. So I'm gonna go down to the workbench and I'm gonna create those items. After I'm done crafting these items, I'm going to take a look who actually needed them. However, I'm not going to visit these people just yet, but I am going to go to them throughout my routine. So we have Hugh and Jonas, which are both at South Who Farm, and we have Mr. Cod, who's in Moreland. So we need to remember those people throughout my routine. I just think it's a literal waste of time and money to go to these people first if you're going to come across them anyway in your routine. So after I'm done with all this, I am going to start on my routine. And and I start right here in Veildale because the first plant we're going to be collecting is jute right over here near the silver song waterfall I guess over here we have jute you guys which is the first plant and then I'm gonna run down to the watermill right over here near the watermill we have another jute plant and by the way I'm not gonna be explaining where every single plant is because that's gonna get boring I'm gonna be talking about my real life in this video as well because I just figured why not mix the plant collecting video with some let's play with some talking because that seemed like a lot of fun to me so that's what we're gonna do in this video I do want to warn you however this is gonna be quite a long video because it does take me a long time before I finish up with collecting all the plants so just a little warning in advance I'm running to Veildale Lake right now because there are some more plants over there and then we're gonna go to Fairgrove and then we're gonna go to Starshine Ranch and that whole area now the first thing I wanted to talk about is graduation to all the people who graduated this year how how did that go? I really feel like my graduation wasn't as fun as it was supposed to be, but of course with the whole virus outbreak, it wasn't possible for us to have a big party, you know? I graduated too this year and honestly, my graduation party was literally just me sitting in a room with my parents and all my classmates and their parents. And then there were some teachers and also some pupils giving some speeches and that was literally it. At the end, we did get a gift bag, which was really, really sweet. I did enjoy that. But honestly, I feel like it could have been so much more fun. Unfortunately, our government didn't allow us to have a reception and they forbade a lot of things, which honestly really sucked because I wanted to have this big graduation party and that wasn't possible. The graduation party also wasn't with everyone from our year. It was literally just my class and their parents. And I do have a lot of friends from other classes, so that was kind of disappointing as well. By the way, there's supposed to be moss right over here, but because I haven't been playing for a long enough time, which I do think this one takes about 50 minutes to appear, it hasn't appeared for me yet, so I can't collect it, but there is moss over here. I do recommend waiting an hour after logging on before going ahead and searching for all the plants because it does take a long time for all of them to appear, and if you wait an hour, all of them will have appeared. We are now going to go up here through the mountain passage, and I do have to say, these plants over here here, especially Rubia, which one of them is here, do take a long time before they appear. So again, wait a long enough time. I'm going to put the time schedule thing for the ingredients on the screen right now so you know how long it takes for every ingredient to appear. Um, this can be a really helpful map in case you're wondering where a plant is or why it hasn't appeared yet. We're just going to continue going up here and normally right there, there should be another Rubia plant. Yes. Anyway, back to graduation. Um, I 
graduated, not necessarily cum laude, but I did graduate with great grades. I did fail my Latin exam. I did fail my summer exam for Latin and I was really disappointed. I was so disappointed because I had studied so hard for that exam and my heart was broken, really. My other exams, however, did go well, and I'm really proud of how I did in my last exams for high school. Next year, I'll be going to university, and for those who are wondering what I'm gonna study, I'm gonna be studying law. I've always been really, really invested in, you know, giving people justice and being there for the people who need it, especially when it comes to minorities. And even over here in Belgium, in Europe, we have to recognize that sometimes racial stereotypes can cause people to get longer sentences compared to white people. And I just wanna be someone who helps those people and I just want to not necessarily fix the system, but there are some faults in the system that I definitely would like to help out, you know? So that is my whole motivation behind me wanting to study law and I wanna help people. And that's also something I'm trying to do with this channel. I hope this channel's helpful, not only when it comes to Star Stable, but also that it can be an escape from reality for those of you who need it. Anyway, moving on from this kind of depressing subject, I am gonna study law and I'm gonna study it in Leuven here in Belgium and I'm so excited. I've already got my own apartment and I'm just so, so incredibly excited. I'm such an independent person. I can't with that. Um, I'm super independent and I can't wait till I can live on my own because I am going to be living on my own, cooking my own meals, which is probably going to go wrong, I have to admit. But still, I'm so excited to learn about adult life and just living my life to the fullest. I can also happily announce that I won't be quitting YouTube next year because I do have a laptop right now now, and I will still continue to make videos on that laptop whenever I am in Leuven, which is of course super, super exciting, and I cannot wait for what the future holds for my channel. Now for the rest of this area, like Starshine Ranch and this whole field, I'm just gonna insert clips of me collecting the plants, because otherwise this video will take way too long for me to film, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'll be right back to move on to our next area, which is gonna be Silverglade, and I do have a specific routine for for that one as well, so be right back. And those are all the plants for the first part of Silverglade. We're now going to move on to the other side, which is on the left side of the Silver Song River. And there is actually some jute right over here to the right, as well as to the left. So I'm going to collect those two plants first. After collecting that plant, I'm gonna head towards Doyle's Abbey and Pony Point because there's two more plants right over there. Then we're gonna go to Fort Pinta and then we're gonna go to Moorland and then back to Veildale. There we go, this is some more jute and then up there, there should be Rubia as well. So I'm just gonna follow the path. You can see the sparkles up there already. So I'm just gonna go up here and then here we have some Rubia. Then the next plant for Fort Pinta is this jute plant under the bridge to Fort Pinta. And then if we follow this path towards the championship, normally in the field, right next to the championship area, you can find some flax too. Here is the flax I was just talking about, and now let's head back to Veildale. On our way to Veildale though, we will come across some more plants, so I'm going to show you those as well in these few clips. Now 
Now there's two things you can do when you collected this plant. You can run back to Veildale or like me, you can set your home stable as Veildale and then all you have to do is call for pickup, which is something that is really helpful and it saves you some time. What I'll be doing now is I'm gonna collect all the plants for the hollow woods as well as the observatory and then we're gonna move on to the everwind fields and all that jazz. So I'm gonna insert clips of me collecting all the plants here and then we're gonna go back to some talking. There's two more chamomile plants that I actually kind of include in my Everwind Fields routine. So first we have some flax over here, and then in between these mountains, at the edge of the hollow woods, there's more chamomile, but I honestly don't collect that when doing the hollow woods. I only do it when I do the Everwind Fields. Anyway, I'm back at the top of the Everwind Fields and I am now gonna collect all the other plants that you can find over here at Everwind Fields. And again, I'm gonna insert clips of that in this video as well. So I hope you enjoy. Now, I just realized I totally forgot to go to Moorland, so I'm very quickly gonna collect the jute plant over there, and I'm also gonna deliver Cod's delivery, the thing he asked for, um, which I'm not sure which one of the three items it was, but I am gonna deliver that in a second. So here are some clips from that. So now that we are fully done with Silverglade, we're gonna get started on the Northern Harvest Counties. So I'm gonna take the trailer to the Riding Hall because there's actually a plant right over here near the Riding Hall and we're gonna go from the Forgotten Fields all the way to Greendale to Yorvik Stables. So like I said, I'm gonna take the trailer to the Riding Arena right now and then I'm gonna show you every single plant for the Northern Harvest Counties as well. So for this part of the video, the Northern Harvest Counties, I am I'm gonna do some talking. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is about horse riding. You guys know that I have an equestrian Instagram account um, for my lease horse Dario, which is this account, and I have a competition tomorrow, and I'm so, so excited, but also kind of stressed, and I really hope it's gonna go well. We're gonna do a round in 80 centimeters, which I'm not sure how high that is in inches. Um, we count in centimeters here in Europe, so I don't know, you will have to use a converter 
if you want to know how many inches that is. But yeah, we are doing a competition and it's our first actual competition. The last time we competed was for carnival, which is basically a feast over here and you have to dress up and all that stuff. And this time it's actually like formal with a whole entire outfit. And I have my outfit ready and I'm so, so excited because it's so chic and I just love it. Have any of you guys ever done any competitions with any of your horses? Because I would love to know. I know there's a lot of people, especially in America, that have shows every single weekend. And I have to say, I'm so jealous of you guys because I cannot imagine how much fun that must be. Unfortunately, I don't own my own horse. I lease a horse right now, so I'm not really able to travel around and do a lot of competitions, which is unfortunate, but really, I don't have the time or I won't have the time next year when I'm going to university to care for a horse, so that's why I'm not buying a horse right now. I do want to do so in the future, however. Owning my own horse seems like so much fun, and I know what goes into it by now. I've been riding for 13 years straight, and... I just want to own my own horse, but right now is just not the time. A lot of people have been asking me about when I'm going to buy my own horse, but that won't be for another five years, I think. But anyway, back to the topic. Let me know down below in the comments if you've ever done any shows and how that is going for you right now. Which shows are you training for right now? Which one are you most excited about? I would love to know all about it, so leave a comment down below. Now, with that being said, I am now going to collect the rest of the plants for the Northern Harvest Counties, and then I'll be right back to do the final area which is south hoof so here you go here are some clips of me collecting all the plants over here So can we talk about how sometimes the names above the plants glitch? This was clearly flax, but for some reason it said jute. However, I did collect flax over here. So yeah, sometimes they do glitch in case you're wondering. And then finally, over here, we have the last plant for the Northern Harvest Counties. There are no plants in Epona, so right now we're going to take the trailer to our last area, which is South Hoof. And again, I'm going to show you clips of every single plant in South Hoof. So let's go to South Hoof, and then I'll be right back to finish up this video. Actually, we still need to deliver some deliveries to both Jonas and Hugh before we're going to collect all of the plants over here. So I'm delivering the candles to Jonas right now, and the natural soap to hue over there. There we go, we have delivered everything and then now let's get into the plans. And 
And this is the last plant for South Who Farm, which means we are all done with all the plants for today. You guys, this took me about three hours to do, to film it all, to collect it, to talk through. So I think you can do this in two and a half an hours. And also, these flowers actually reappeared. These are not daily flowers you can collect once a day. They actually reappear. So if you were to go back to Veildale Lake, for example, the jute would be back over there. Now, with that being said, those are all my tips. That was everything I needed to say. Those are all the flowers for today. And then now let's move on to my outro. I want to thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. If you like this video, it will let the algorithm know it needs to push this video more on the recommended page so more people will be able to find this video. Also, if you're interested in seeing more of my content, all you have to do is go ahead and subscribe down below as well as turn on those notifications so you'll never miss out on any videos I post. And with that being said, I really hope I'll see you back on Wednesday in a brand new update video and also have an awesome weekend. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye!